Hi, my name is Kobe Cypher and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of implementing a password visibility toggle for your web forms. And so follow along as we break down each step, explaining the code and demonstrating how it works in real time. To begin with, I have created the HTML structure for our form, including the input field for the password and the toggle button. Next, I have applied some basic CSS styling to ensure that the form looks professional and clean. I did most of them using Bootstrap. Let me walk you through how the entire design looks like. We have our login screens with its various input fields, the register screen, and then the forget password screen. And so we will implement the password toggle visibility on this button. Now, I will dive into the JavaScript code. I will use jQuery to handle the click event on the toggle button and then the toggle visibility of the password field accordingly. I will type the code and then after, I will explain it to you. In our code snippet, we have a JavaScript function that toggles the visibility of a password input field when the user clicks on an associated link or icon. Now let me break the code down. The script is enclosed within the jQuery function, that's the dot .ready function. It ensures that the script only executes after the HTML document has been fully loaded. The function is bound to the click event of an element which has the ID show hide password. In this case, it is typically a link or an icon which has been placed adjacent to the password input field. Within the click event handler function, we prevent the default action of the link using the event.preventDefault method or function. This helps to prevent the browser from following the link's href attributes. We then retrieve references to the password input field and then the associated icon using the jQuery selected. Next, we check the current type of the password input field. If it is set to password, it indicates that the password is currently hidden. We then change it to test to make the password visible. Of course, we also update the eye icon to indicate that the password is now visible. Conversely, if the password input field is already set to test, that indicates that the password is currently visible. What we do is that we change it back to password to hide the password. We also update the eye icon to indicate that the password is now hidden. The add class and the remove class jQuery methods are used to toggle classes on the icon. This helps us to switch between an icon representing a visible eye and an icon representing a crossed out eye. The end result is a password input field that toggles between visible and hidden state when the associated link or icon is clicked by the user. This provides your users with the option to view or hide their password as and when needed. Now let's see a demonstration of the logic we have implemented in the UI. Perfect. Everything works as expected. 
you can now copy the script file and use it in other places where they are needed, for example, in the register form. This is a straightforward solution for implementing a password visibility toggle in our web forms. By following the step-by-step -step guide and, of course, by understanding the code explained above, we have enhanced the user experience of our application. That will be all for this video. Until next time, stay safe.